What's up, Tech Gang? Stefan here from TechRite. In this video, we're going to be talking about the five best phones you can get at Metro by T-Mobile for Portin. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Hopefully everyone is safe out there. Now these five phones are going to be in no particular order, uh, but I am going to give a little description of the phone and tell you what type of phone it is, whether it's, you know, flagship, mid-range, or a budget device, and I'm going to be, you know, talking about the phones that uh, may be best for you, pretty much. But in no particular order, we're going to start off the first phone, and that is going to be the Galaxy A53 5G, the phone that I'm actually currently holding in my hand. Now, this device at Metro by T-Mobile, it looks like the original price is $470, but when you switch and activate, it's only going to be $49.99, and that's a really good deal for this device. Um, I feel like this device is going to be the uh, number one mid-ranger this year for uh, just in general, phones in general are the most sold phones, but I've been loving this device so far. I guess I'll just talk about it. We won't take a look at the article right here, but this device right here, six gigabytes of RAM, the Exynos 1280 inside this device. We have a really good camera, really decent camera sta stabilization on this device for the 60 frame per second and the uh, 4K filming, so really good stuff on here. We have a 5,000 milliamp battery, uh, so it's gonna last you all day, and then some on this device. Really, really good battery on this device. Um, some things that I don't really like, we don't have a headphone jack on this phone. We have really good speakers on this phone, though. And uh, honestly, NFC's inside of here, super AMOLED display, 120 hertz refresh rate. Um, really nice phone, and for $49.99, amazing board and deal right here all right everyone so the next phone on here is going to be the apple iphone se the third generation this one just currently came out and if you guys want an iphone and you don't want to break the bank this is definitely going to be a good device to pick up as you guys can see already 5g capable uh, this is going to be a smaller phone, so it is going to have a small screen at 4.7 inches, but this is going to be a Retina HD display. Um, Apple devices usually look really good as far as the screen goes, so display is going to look good, and I believe you can upscale to 1080p, so watching 1080p videos on YouTube uh, shouldn't be hard at all. We also have a really nice camera on this device that's uh, capable of 4K up to 60 frames per second, so uh, if you guys just want a really good camera in general, just a good point-and-shoot camera, this is going to do you good. The A15 Bionic processor is going to be in this phone as well, so if you guys need a really good processor, that's an insanely powerful processor, and all at $79.99. So the original price is usually $429, but if you guys pour it in, it's going to be $79.99. Amazing deal right here. One thing with this device is these devices are extremely popular, so if you guys want to pick up one of these devices, I would definitely call the Metro by T-Mobile that you're going to before you actually go ahead and pick it up because a lot of these Metro by T-Mobiles are going to be out of this phone. Another great thing about this device, if you have FaceTime and you guys like that interface and that ecosystem, you guys are going to uh, have a really nice phone at a really, really good price. All right, everyone, so we have our next phone right here, and that is the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE 5G for only $199 with port in. It says usually this device is $699. It's usually around that price, seven dollars $600 around there. But the crazy thing is, if you guys see on here, and I scroll up a little bit, the Galaxy S20 FE is even more expensive. It's $239 more expensive right here. So pretty awesome deal. Seems like Samsung just wants to get rid of these devices. But for $199 poured in, you guys are getting an amazing phone right here. This is basically a flagship spec phone right here. Let's go ahead and start this off, though. But as you guys see... This device has a really nice body. I believe it's 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 an all-plastic body, but it feels really, really good. Uh, we got a 6.4-inch display, uh, Snapdragon 888 processor, so we have an amazing processor on here. You'll be able to play any game you want on this device. Uh, we have a 4,500 milliamp battery, super fast charging. Um, we have, I believe, a 120 hertz refresh rate as well. Just know you guys are getting... Uh, you guys are getting flagship specifications on this device at a uh, at a budget phone price for $200. Pretty crazy stuff on here. Basically a flagship for 200 bucks, and I believe you just pay the tax on it, but this is an amazing deal right here if you guys want to port in. S21 FE 5G. I own this phone for I think a month and a half. Absolutely enjoyed it. So I know you guys are going to love this, especially at the uh, port in price tag. All right, everyone, so the second to last device right here, I'm pretty sure this is no surprise, but the Moto G Stylus 5G right here, this is 5G capable. 
Uh, this is a little bit of an older phone, about a year old. So we have a Snapdragon 480 5G processor in here. It is going to work decently with PUBG. Um, it will work decently with Call of Duty Mobile. As far as like Genshin Impact and other games like that, I don't think this is going to work too well with those. If you need a device with some budget specifications, this is going to get you through. We have a built-in stylus on this device, a quad camera system setup that I think has a pretty decent camera quality for the price tag, especially if it's free, if you get this device for free. Amazing battery in this device, up to two days of battery life, 128 gigabytes built-in storage, and a micro SD card slot on this device as well, so that's a beautiful thing to see. And a 6.8 inch huge Max Vision FHD Plus display. Uh, so some pretty good specifications on this device and if you just need something that's going to get you through um, and you don't really need the best thing out there, you're going to enjoy this device. Alright everyone, so the last phone we're going to be taking a look at right here is going to be the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G. I thought I'd just throw another budget phone in here, uh, but this is going to be $0 when you switch, so obviously this is going to be a budget phone right here. Uh, but as far as like... The specifications and everything, everything's pretty solid in here, honestly. Uh, this does have a MediaTek processor in it, so um, you know that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be bad, but this is a lower-end MediaTek processor, and it's, it's, it's decent. It's going to get you by. The same thing as the Moto G Stylus 5G. You can play Call of Duty Mobile. You can play other games like that. Just when you get to like Genshin Impact and things like that, it's going to be a little bit harder to run those. Um, you probably can run them on low-quality graphics and stuff, but... All in all, this phone's pretty decent as far as the features. Like, I believe we get NFC in this device. We have 5G capability, triple camera uh, setup right here. I don't think the cameras are amazing, but I have my full review on this channel. Uh, 5,000 milliamp battery with fast charging. Just know this does not come with a charger inside of the box, so that's something that it lacks. Uh, but we do have an expansive 6.5 inch HD plus display, and this is going to have a 90 hertz refresh rate in it. Um, as well as 64 gigabytes of internal storage. This is going to be a little bit lower on the totem pool as far as like memory goes. So if you guys want more memory, I would pick another phone on this list. But the A13 5G is just an all-around good budget phone. Very, very inexpensive device. Um, but we do have some good stuff in here. Yeah, guys, those were the five phones as far as like my best port in picks. Um, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. What are your favorite port in deals going in right now? It doesn't even have to be from Metro by T Mobile. If you guys have some different, that's even better. Even better. But yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like down below as well. Subscribing if you are not part of the tech gang already. Also hit the notification bell if you guys want to be notified every time I do upload a new video. This has been Safan from TechRate. Peace out, tech gang.